From the impact of decreased testing to whether survivors really need to get vaccinated, there are still plenty of questions that viewers want answered. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to address more of your concerns, starting with a question about vaccinating students who are learning at home. Doc. Yeah, Karen and Devin. So a viewer asks, should the kids who are virtual this school year get the vaccine now or wait until the end of the school year? The bottom line is anyone who is eligible for the vaccine should get vaccinated as soon as possible. And there is absolutely no reason to put it off. Now, here are some more of your questions. A viewer asks, does the reduction in positive tests reflect a decrease in testing? You are correct that if we simply test fewer people, we will find fewer positives. That's why the percent positivity is really the number public health people watch. The percent of tests that are positive gives us an indication of how widespread an infection is. At its peak during the past wave, the percent positivity was all the way up to 18.5% statewide. Since that peak, it has now downtrended to 5%. Michelle asks, if I had COVID and tests show I have strong antibodies, then why would I want a COVID vaccine that only aims at the protein and no more? Isn't the vaccine supposed to mimic the antibodies of a COVID infection? The vaccines available in the U.S. cause a person to produce antibodies only to the spike protein of the coronavirus. A COVID infection results in antibodies to the spike protein and other proteins that are present on the coronavirus. In that sense, you might assume a natural infection covers more bases. The reason the vaccine is still valuable to people who have been infected is the added longer-term immunity, specifically to the spike protein, is the most effective at preventing future infection since it's the spike protein that allows the virus to enter our cells. Also, right now it's unclear how long natural immunity will last, especially if someone had a mild infection. And to go one further, there is one recent research paper published in the journal Nature that in fact suggests the combination of a natural infection and a vaccination in fact produces the strongest level of long-term protection, potentially, they say, even lifetime. Back to you. Now that's interesting. All right. Thank you, Doc.